Okay, how is everybody? Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jennifer Danford. I am the Director of Admissions over at St. Hubert. I really, truly appreciate you guys taking the time out today to come and meet the St. Hubert leaders. We're really excited to share with you all of the great things that St. Hubert has to offer. This is just some of the leaders at St. Hubert that's here in our panel today. Um, how this is going to go, uh, we're gonna be learning with you as we do this. Um, what's gonna be happening today is each person that is on this panel um, is going to say a few words to you, our prospective families. Um, during those, those um, while people are talking, just hold your questions because we're gonna be opening up for questions and answers at the end of um, each person's talk. Um, we are gonna first kick it off with our president of St. Hubert, Mrs. Pando. Thank you, Jen. Welcome, my name is Lizanne Pando and I am the proud president of St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls. I am so thankful you joined us today to learn more about St. Hubert and how you can, we can serve in your high school education search. St. Hubert's is a place, if you are looking to be challenged, and you'd like to grow uh, academically, in the arts, in athletics, if you'd like to try new things, like learning how to play tennis or hockey or lacrosse or sewing or maybe the violin or the flute. But if you wanna join the theater, you can join the other 100 girls that take the theater and perform or manage sets or be on stage crew. If you want to learn how to sew or make new clothes, or learn about fabrics that are used in today's medical world to keep people safer. Uh, we could teach you about wearable tech, and that's a fascinating subject nowadays. If you want to go into the medical field, we can prepare you for that. If you want to undergo um, into the business world, in graphic arts, learn how to build a website or build apps, we could do that. If you're looking for a place that feels like home, our sisterhood is extremely strong, but I'll let the other girls tell you more about that. If you are looking for a place to feel good in your faith, St. Hubert's is probably a good fit for you. It's a really special place. Of course, everyone says that, but if you've ever met a Bambi, she'll tell you just how special it can be. As a president, I oversee a lot of the items that go into running the school, but my strength is really my team. And I have an amazing one, and you're gonna hear from many of them tonight. They really pour their hearts and souls into supporting the girls and what they want to do and how they want to grow. Um, my job is mainly about listening, listening to them, listening to you, um, using that time to adapt to help us figure out how are we gonna make the best version of yourself? How can you reach to your highest levels uh, so that you can reach to your highest dream college or uh, go out and light the world on fire in a career that just lights your soul? So um, thank you. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for making us part of your, your search force uh, high school. It's an important one and we would love we like that what you see. If you like what you see, uh, please ask us many questions and join us for our future webinars, which will be next week and the week after that with our academics and our athletics and things like that. So um, we thank you for being with us tonight and we're looking forward to your questions and thank you and God bless. Thank you, Mrs. Pando. I would like to um, have the principal of St. Hubert say a word, uh, say a few words. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Jerry Laskowski, and I'm the principal of St. Hubert's Catholic High School for Girls. I would like to welcome each and every one of you, whether you're a seventh grader, an eighth grader, your families, your parents, and your guardians to this webinar today. Uh, we have a great tradition here at St. Hubert's uh, almost for 80 years now uh, with a sisterhood that comprises many different generations. 
every August uh, in the mail, you'll receive a letter welcoming you to St. Hubert's, and you'll also receive a roster. Now tonight, I'm not here to talk about the academic part of your roster. The academics office will talk about that in future webinars. But I wanna talk about the roster in a totally different sense. It is a roadmap for you. It is a pathway. You walk in on the first day of school and it will list a lot of different classrooms and room numbers that you might not be familiar with. But as the day wears on and the bells start ringing, you're gonna start literally bumping into people. And some of these people you will bump into will be in your homeroom, will be in your classes, will be in various clubs and activities and sports. The point I'm trying to make is, throughout this career in high school, this roster is gonna take you into many, many different directions. Not a day goes by that I don't speak to someone in the neighborhood, in the community, or even here at school that's an alum. And they, not one, if not all, say to me, they've established lifelong friendships that began in their freshman year, often in their homeroom, in their very first class, or the orientation day. It's the fun that they've shared, the classes they've shared, the teachers that they've got to know, the times they've spent in the cafeteria. This has, carries over to your, all of your four years. And oftentimes throughout life, your paths will cross, they'll intersect with your teachers, your former teachers, your friends and your classmates. And the bond that is developed and shared here at St. Hubert's is one that lasts forever. So this afternoon, I want you to enjoy the speakers that you'll hear, students and administrators, and in the weeks to come, future webinars. I thank you tonight for participating with us here at St. Hubert's. Thank you so much. Um, our ne next up will be our next student leader. It's gonna be Victoria wilson Home, who's a student council president. Hi, like Ms. Stanford said, I'm Tori wilson Home, and I'm the president of student council. I also play soccer and lacrosse. I'm a member of the National Honor Society and I'm a member of, of Athletes Helping Athletes. St. Hubert really is my home away from home, my second home, and the sisterhood that you will experience there is unlike anything ever you'll experience. It's amazing. And if you're choosing to go here, you're going to love it. And that's, I'm so grateful for the sisterhood that our school brings and everything that comes with it. It's just such a great experience. And like it said, sisterhood cannot be defined, only experience. I have, I have trouble finding words trying to experience, trying to explain the experience of the sisterhood. So if you're looking to come here, I'm so excited for you to experience this great sisterhood. Thank you so much, Tori. Um, next up, I would like you to meet our Assistant Principal of Academic Affairs. Good evening. My name is Eric Sternseifer. I'm the Assistant Principal for Academic Affairs. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for uh, visiting us tonight to learn more about St. Hubert's. And we hope that St. Hubert's could be an outstanding fit uh, for you uh, in the future. I want to kind of give you just a very brief overview of our academic program here um, at St. Hubert's. First and foremost, our academic program is here to create lifelong learners. We understand completely that learning doesn't just happen in the classroom. Learning happens um, outside the classroom, it happens beyond the classroom, and it happens for the rest of our lives. Our goal is, is to make young women that are educated, that are able to make sound judgments, that are grounded in their faith, and that they can use their skills to be productive citizens in our society and our church far beyond their graduation. We do this in a couple different ways. We challenge each student to go beyond their own limits, to think what are their goals that they wanna have for life? What are the things that they wanna do and we want to push them farther than they've ever been, gone before, push them beyond what they think they're even capable of doing. Two, we have partnerships with a number of colleges. We have partnerships with Newman University, Manor College, and Holy Family University, so that students have some sort of experience of the collegiate level 
before they go on to become full-time uh, college students afterwards. We also work on having a balanced curriculum between our arts and our sciences. We want to make sure that our students are um, educated in the arts and understand the importance of the arts, but at the same time understand the importance of math and science and the logical step process of solving different problems that go with that. It's very important to have a balanced education of, of both of those programs. Finally, what, what we want to do is we want students to think critically. We want them to think critically about the world around them. We want them to think critically about the subjects that they're involved in. With that and with our faculty and, and the challenges that we do in the classroom and the challenges that they do with each other, we try to prepare these lifelong learners so that when they graduate St. Hubert's, that they are prepared to meet any challenge that they have in front of them. I thank you and I wish you all the best of luck and hope we get to see you at St. Hubert's. Thank you so much, Mr. Stone Cipher. Um, next up, we have Mrs. Uh, Doherty, another assistant principal of student affairs. Ms. Doherty, unmute yourself. And I had so many good lines right before that. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We're on this together. That's oh, good. Oh man, I was going. I was on a roll. Here. <laughs> I was on a roll. Hi, I'm Mrs. Doherty, Assistant Principal for Student Services. In addition to a number of other functions, my office is responsible for transportation to and from St. Hubert. If your question is how can I get to St. Hubert, I'm the person to ask. For Philadelphia students that live outside a 1.5 mile radius of the school, we distribute trans passes every Thursday during lunch periods. For students that live outside of Philadelphia, we arrange and coordinate with school districts uh, to provide yellow bus transportation. Most school districts uh, will provide yellow bus transportation if the student lives within 10 miles of the boundary to St. Hubert. My office also offers the real high school experience of lockers and locker keys, swipe cards, and IDs. That's what our office is responsible for, is uh, distributing them in the beginning of the year, replacing them if you lose them, and renting locker keys when you forget your lanyard. We ask that you wear a lanyard with your swipe card, with your ID, and with your locker key around your neck, not only to identify you, but just to keep it all in one place, okay? Uh, finally, the Office of Student Affairs handles all issues relating to attendance. It's important that you attend school every day and on time. And if you can't attend school every day and on time, it's important that we receive a call and a note. Our office staff is always available for your questions. Many of you have never experienced many of the things that our office offers. So don't ever hesitate. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you walk the halls of St. Hubert's in the future and enjoy the rest of your tour. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, we have another student leader, Sarah, who's the Bambi Ambassador President. Hi, everyone. Like Ms. Stanford said, my name is Sarah Leshevsky, and I'm president of the Bambi Ambassadors. I'm also involved in golf, the National Honor Society, and stage crew, just to name a few. Hubert's has provided wonderful experiences for not only me, but my fellow sisters at Hubert's. Some opportunities are you can create your own clubs if you can't, if you don't find one that you think you can like go into, you can make your own. And I also uh, participated in the diocesan scholar program, which allows me to take classes at uh, Holy Family for the first half of the day, as well as going to Hubert's for the second half, which is really nice to have that uh, experience of college before college. So it just, it's just a wonderful environment to learn and to make new friends. So I really hope you guys come in the fall. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sarah. Um, next up, we are going to go to Mrs. Ducker, the um, Director of Institutional Advancement. Hi, everyone. My name is Trish Decker, and I, uh, like Mr. Stanford said, I'm the Director of Advancement, not exactly um, a title that you would associate with a high school. Um, I'm not on the academic side. My job is to do fundraising for the school. Uh, I work a lot with our donors and our alumni um, to secure funds for tuition assistance, for scholarships, for various events that we have during the year at school. Um, it's a lot of, I get a lot of fun things that I get to do with my job, but it's also um, basically making sure that we have enough money to be able to provide to as much needed tuition assistance for our families. Uh, a few programs that we have through the advancement office, we oversee the school store, a very popular um, store place in the school. Everybody loves the school store and all the new items we have. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware that we, through the school store, we offer the lunch voucher program. And what that entails is that our alumni donate, make donations to the school, and we provide lunch vouchers so that if any student forgets their lunch, doesn't have lunch, anything like that, they can get a voucher um, at the main office, and there's no, no questions asked so that nobody goes through a day without having a meal. Um, a couple other things that I, that I get to do are, are marketing and publications, a lot of it, um, our newsletter that goes out. Uh, which will be available online shortly. We're excited to share that. Uh, we have the new courtyard that's going to be developed for our, the, the State Uber community, and our students will be able to use it uh, before school, after school, as well as the faculty and staff. So my job is more so involved with people outside the building, uh, specifically the donors, you know, regarding scholarships. One of the important things to keep in mind is that emails are always going out about scholarship opportunities we have through the school. So make sure as a student that you're checking your email. Um, I am a very proud alum from St. Hubert's. I graduated in 1981. And I'm also familiar with what's been going on in the school because my daughter graduated in 2011. So uh, I live in the neighborhood here, so I might have met a lot of you through coaching basketball or just seeing you at various activities. But I'm excited to see all of you in September. Thank you so much, Mrs. Decker. And we also have our National Honor Society President, Bridget. Hi, I'm Bridget. And at Hubert's, I've been able to do a few sports like soccer and track and swim team. And this year for swimming, I was one of the captains. I've also been a baby ambassador since sophomore year. And I was inducted into the National Honor Society junior year. And now I'm president of that club. This year, I am the class of 2020 salutatorian, and I've had so many great experiences and taken so many great classes at Hubert's, but I think my favorite part about Hubert's is definitely the people I met, and next year, I'm going to Coastal Carolina University, and my roommate is actually a girl I met in freshman year, and she's now my best friend, so that's really exciting, and that just proves like how close you can get with people here and how amazing all the people are here. Thank you so much, Bridget. Um, so what we're gonna do now, I, I, I wanna thank all of you for saying a few words to our uh, attendees today at our webinar. We would like to open it up to questions and answers. And the way that we're gonna do this, if you look below, there's gonna be a little icon that says Q&A. If you can please submit your questions there. Um, and if there's a certain question you wanna ask one of our panel members, you can let me know which panel member this question will go to. Um, so we are now going to open up this session of our webinar to questions and answers. Um, Mrs. Pando right now, um, her lights went out. Oh, she's up, up now. I was gonna say her electric went out, but she's up. So we're gonna open this up right now to questions and answers. And in the meantime, I'm gonna ask, I'm actually gonna ask the girls if we can go one by one. What has been your favorite class at St. Hubert, now that you guys are seniors? What's one class that really stands out? Who's going who's gonna to answer? I'll go first. <laughs> I've taken art the past four years, which was really nice. It was a kind of like de-stress course from the rest of my day, and it allowed me to experiment with like different mediums during art and just overall have like a fun time. Okay. 
Now, Sarah, did you know anything about art before you came in? Nope, not a single bit. <laughs> not, not a but single thankfully, the teachers, they help a lot. They'll teach you the basics of art, even if you have no clue what you're doing in the beginning. <laughs> so if there is a prospective student online right now, if they think, oh, art, I don't even know how to draw a straight line, um, what would you, what kind of advice would you give to them? Don't worry, we have rulers. <laughs> Just kidding, but the, um, the teachers are really helpful, especially our new art teacher, Miss Creighton. She really likes to get involved with the students, and if you have a question, she's open to answer it. She's really nice, and she'll help you through it. Okay. Anybody else want to answer the question? I will. Um, so I took genetics and forensics this year, so it's half year forensics, half year genetics, and it's one of the best classes I've taken all my four years at Hubert. We, um, in forensics, we did a lot of fingerprinting, and we did, we lifted the fingerprints off the glasses. It's really cool to see. It's kind of like a CSI show, but you get to see how much really goes into it and how things aren't solved overnight, and all of the hard work that goes through picking up the fingerprints testing the blood spatter, everything like that. And in genetics, we learned about um, the Punnett squares and everything, how your, what genes your children will have compared to the parents with the dominant or not co-dominant things with genes like that. And it's really cool to see all the different things that you don't normally see on like a crime show that go into all of the different crime solving parts. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, um, another question we have. Um, I'm gonna ask the girls this. Um, your leadership, how have you become better leadership leaders in the past four years? How about, Tori, why don't you start with Dancerama and how that has, has enabled you. And uh, just to give uh, the people watching, so Dancerama is in its third year. And it's an event um, run by student council and the student council officers led by Tori take the lead, take the initiative in organizing and putting it together. Over the last three years, they've raised upwards of $45,000 to benefit the schools of special need, uh, which are our partner schools in the archdiocese. So I've been a member of student council since my freshman year, and I've got to see a lot of great leaders and great presidents before me. So I've taken after a lot of their leadership. They've helped guide me all along the way, and our moderator, Mr. Schaefer, has always helped out. I've gotten help from countless members of our school with everything we do. But Dancerama especially is kind of hard to plan. You have to get everyone's permission slips. You have to get all the sponsors ready and together and decorations and everything. But it all comes together in the end, and it's really cool to see it all come together with help of your sisters in the school, working things out together. So that's just one of the many things that we do with student council and school. We do have a, we do have a question too. Um, we have, hold on. Someone is asking about the diversity of the student body at school, and I'd like to have uh, Ms. Dougherty answer this question. Well, as uh, I've been at St. Hubert, uh, this will be, I'm going into my seventh year at St. Hubert and, and we really have changed so much in that short period of time. Right now we draw from, I think pretty much over 40 different schools. Mm -hmm. So not only are we diverse um, with our uh, ethnicity, our race, our religion, but all of our experiences, and that would make things so interesting. We have a Bambi's uh, United Club, which is co pretty cool, it's BU. And we have girls that come in, and sometimes during the lunch periods, we'll eat foods from different uh, cultures. And we're just really starting, that club is probably in its third year, and it's getting bigger and bigger. So we're embracing this and celebrating this diversity. And it really just adds, such another dimension to the school. And uh, I'm really proud of it. It's, it's really uh, a great place and it's a great fit. I, I you know, I, I'm really proud of how everyone is fitting in so well. And we, everybody reaches out to each other. It's, it's really kind of coming together very nicely. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Ms. Doherty. Okay. Uh, any other questions for our uh, panelists for tonight? I think any other questions? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do just right now, um, a couple of things. I know that people always have questions about the admissions process. Um, and what I'd like to just talk to you about is the admissions process and kind of open it, open everything up to on what's going to be happening the next coming weeks. If you are a seventh grader, okay, um, we, you'll be able to take the, um, eighth, the scholarship placement test in the fall. So this summer, you'll be getting a mailing with all of our important dates that are going to be coming up this fall, okay? Um, if you ever have any questions about anything when it comes to financial aid, the admissions process, shadowing, um, clubs, activities, sports, this panel here is, is here to help you and guide you and answer questions. I always tell students when, when we do visit them, make sure you go out and physically see all the schools that you're interested in. That's gonna be the best way that's go, that, that you're gonna be able to kind of gather the information and find the right and the best school for you. Um, we're really happy that you were here to, with us tonight. Um, and we're really happy to share all of these, all the great things that St. Hubert has to offer. The next coming weeks, I'm really excited for the next couple of webinars. Next week, we are going to be having an academic and arts webinar. This panel is gonna be consisting of a freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior who are number one in their class. And it's also gonna be consisting of two teachers as well. Um, this webinar is going to allow you to ask a broad range of questions about our acad academics and how we are getting these girls ready for, for college and for you know what's ahead. After that, Girls always say, Mrs. Danford, what kind of activities and clubs do we have? Um, one thing I know about seventh and eighth grade girls, they can't wait to be starting new things. And the week after, we're gonna have a panel of our athletics and our activities. The one thing that I believe St. Hubert has, St. Hubert has something for everybody. Um, whether if your child is looking at art or sports or even math leaps, there's something for everybody at St. Hubert. So that's gonna be on Mar May 12th, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then we're gonna be also doing virtual shadow days. So stay tuned on different things that we're gonna do for a virtual shadow day. Even though we're not in the school, you're gonna be able to sit and talk to a panel of Bambi Ambassador and Student Council, and they can share with you their experience and a day in the life of a Bambi. So, does anybody else have any questions or do you want to leave our panel with anybody? Anybody have any other questions or does anybody have any other few words? Okay. All right. Thank you again so much. I appreciate you guys taking your time out to being with us tonight. Um, and again, if you have any questions, let me give you my email address. It's J for Jennifer and my last name, which is D as in dad, A, N as in Nancy, F as in Frank, O-R-D, at huberts.org. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. Stay safe. See you next week.